<laughs> Three, two, one, action. Can I call you Elfie? Well, it's a little bit perky. I know, and you can call me Galinda. That is your name. Let's not quarrel. There's a lot of people who love Wicked. There's a lot of people who need Wicked. It truly resonates with me because it lands on the idea that the possibilities in any person are endless. Stop! <laughs> Once you learn to harness your emotion, <laughs> the sky's the limit. That is amazing. As a fan, as a person who's loved this for 20 years, I know that this fights for truth and the complexities of being misunderstood. You, come with me. Of course. Not you, you. Miss Alphaba. It touched on the things that I love and know, going to college, meeting friends, saying goodbye to friends. This is a magical place. And that life there is exciting. It's the place where your dreams begin. It is my heart's desire to become a sorceress, thank you. And it's all about identity, I think, and finding yourself and aligning what your belief system is with your actions. No one should be scorned, or laughed at, or told to keep quiet. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. It's very much a story about discovery. We animals are now being blamed for everything that goes wrong fighting for who you are. Listen to me! You're not being told the whole story! You can't permit this. I'm afraid it's out of our hands. Are we all just gonna sit here in silence? Well, someone's got to do something. Wicked was about a relationship with other people, and the quality of those relationships can transform your life. Quickly, get on. Come with me. It speaks to so many things now making it not just entertaining and hilarious and exciting and thrilling and nourishing in those senses, but also vital. You have no real power. That undying spirit is at the heart of Wicked. You did it. You actually did it. And to have this film at this moment, urgently at this moment, means the world. If there are no further questions, I'm gonna go.